<laughs> Hi you guys, welcome to day five. Is it day five? It's day five of Vlogmas and it's also the fifth of the month, which means me and Sean discovered this morning. Our nine month anniversary is today. So Sean just picked me up. He was working all day and we are headed. We have a bunch of stuff in his car right now because I told you guys yesterday that he's moving. So what are we gonna go do? Where are we gonna take this stuff, babe? Uh, my mom's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're dropping all this stuff off there, which is actually even closer, like only a couple of blocks away from where I'm staying. So pretty close to us. We're gonna go drop all this stuff and then we are I don't really know. We're gonna we're gonna chillax. We're gonna have a night. I definitely got the vlog off to a late start today. Uh, show them how narrow the roads are. <laughs> Perfect timing. Look how narrow these fucking roads are. <laughs> so in this area, driving like if there's a car parked over here and a car parked over there, which there is right now, then there's only room for one car on the road. So you have to like pull over when you can. But you have look, to go one mile per hour. You have to go one mile per hour to pass each other. We're passing through Hyde Park right now. I'll show you guys my fave little area. It's so cute. So we have Squirtle. He always comes along to Sean's house because, you know, he just likes to be included. He likes to hang out with the boys. So we are heading there and then we'll see what we'll see what happens from the rest of the night. Guys, we are at the iconic West Side Drive-In right now. And Sean, can you tell the people who actually came here in their iconic show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? Uh, the mayor of Flavortown. Oh! <laughs> the one and only! <laughs> Guy Fieri actually filmed an episode here, which I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? No. So no. we don't even know what he ordered. He definitely got the ice cream potato. It's like oh, a yeah, yeah. potato completely made out of ice cream. So there's no actual potato? Nope. The potato part is ice cream and then it's like covered in little chocolate bits to make like the potato skin looking stuff, you know? Okay. Then like whipped cream is the sour cream and the bacon bits are like chocolate chips and stuff. And th there's like, ch it looks literally just like a baked potato. Whoa. And I still haven't tried it, it but like, I feel like I never, whenever we come here, I'm just craving like, I don't know. Yeah, like today I'm gonna get a grilled cheese and not really craving like the ice cream, but it's big. and it's, it's so like cold too. too. It's that like is so funny that they have that. Of course, like classic Idaho, the potato. So I had an amazing grilled cheese here last week that I'm about to get again. Um, what do you think you're gonna get? Um probably a baked potato and not ice cream version. Pretty hungry, it's pretty also excited about it. Menu. I still haven't tried it. Should I get like grilled cheese and baked potato? That's that kind of a, a weird lot. combination. The baked potatoes are huge. <laughs> okay. Like... Guys, I told you. Look, they have a signed Guy Fieri photo right here. Do you see the pet treat section? It says ice cream bowl, one ninety. Wait, hold on. I can't see it. I can't see it. Bacon burger treat, three seventy nine. A lassie patty, two seventy nine, and a salty dog. Look who's driving us. Whoa. <laughs> They have frozen dinners. What? It says, don't forget our frozen dinners. They make great gifts too. I wouldn't get somebody in my family frozen dinner for Christmas. Yeah. Imagine. But getting... buying it for yourself. I'm just making like some West Side. Yeah. But they said they make great gifts too. They don't. You're right. These liars. All right. Here you go. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. Have a good night. Thank you too. Yeah. The boots have arrived. So, like, Look at this loaded baked potato. <gasps> she is beautiful. Four dollars. <laughs> Mr. Smoke, you're looking like a pimp, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it. He's wearing Sean's hat. I think he likes it. Oh no. Oh. He's so oh, damn shy. Wow. He is. Oh my god. That's so weird. Smoke. Guys, look at this cuddle puddle action. We got one. We got two. We got three boys. This is living. Sean only has a mattress left in his room right now. And a TV, which you can hear. And even the Xbox is gone. It's right there. Oh, it's still there. The Xbox is yeah. still here. That's what we're watching American Horror Story on. But yeah, we're just chilling. We're enjoying the last night in in the room. How do you feel? 
Kind of sleepy. Kind of sleepy. Me too. <laughs> I'm home now. I'm in the bathroom. And I wanted to show you guys my updated current skincare routine because you guys have been commenting for a while actually asking what I've been using for my skincare and wanting an update and saying that I'm glowing, some of you. So seriously, thank you. I actually um, realized I was breaking out in two places this weekend because I was about to get my period, which I just started today, but it's all good. That is actually the only time now that I really break out unless I like sleep in my makeup and I'm not taking care of my skin the only time that I break out is when I'm about to get my period I thought I would show it to you guys and that would be like the second half of this vlog in this episode today because I know I didn't get a lot of footage today I started the vlog off really late but I wanted to show you guys this so first thing I'm going to do is remove the little bit of makeup that I'm wearing right now I put my hair back which I like to do before I start on my nightly skincare I'm starting off with my simple cleansing facial wipes I have used these for years and I have always come back to them I've tried other other wipes along the way but I've always come back to these ones I also really like these simple micellar wipes they're in a white packaging they honestly work about the same for me but basically just the simple brand is my favorite um, I like them because they don't they don't have a scent the Neutrogena ones they have like this scent and it just feels like they almost leave a little bit of a film on my skin occasionally the nights that I'm really lazy like you know when you take off your makeup drunk <laughs> Sometimes I don't do my whole skincare routine or if I'm just like insanely tired I like bring my pack of makeup remover wipes into my bed do a little wipe and then I just go to sleep Like those are the nights where I'm you know really trying to do it super quickly And if I just use these simple ones, I won't have like any residue left on my skin and it does a really good job So I use these for both my facial makeup and my eye makeup, which today I just had on concealer powder and mascara so that's my super super basic like five minute put together look mascara i've been concealing like just on my red areas and under my eyes and then i'll do some powder just so i'm not like all shiny while i'm taking off my makeup i would also like to let you guys know about something that um has really helped my skin specifically this year so I take birth control and I just take the pill and I started taking it in January of this year and since I started taking my birth control I have really um, not had any crazy effects from it. I like the pill that I've been on. It's been very effective for me and also it has really done good things for keeping my skin clear so I think that is definitely a big part of it not that you should go on birth control um, for your skin but it is definitely something for me that being on it already um, I have really noticed that impact on my skin and I probably would have gotten on birth control earlier if I had known that it was going to help maintain my skin so much and I just take the pill called microgestin I think Microgestin. I'm almost positive that's what it's called and it's just like a generic birth control I get it for free I pay zero dollars with my insurance and uh, it's great I get it at Walgreens and I just picked up a new prescription for the next three months last week in addition to using good products and not wearing makeup um, a lot of days that has definitely had a good impact. Do you guys do this? Sometimes I go crazy with the makeup remover wipe and I start like really, even though I probably have all my makeup off, I'm like, no, I need to just rub a million more times to make sure everything's off. But that is, that is good. So I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I actually only wash my face as in use a cleanser on my face when i am in the shower i actually do not usually cleanse my face after i do my makeup wipe or my uh you know nightly skincare routine or when i wake up in the morning only when i'm in the shower will i use this cleanser you don't need to over cleanse your skin like in my opinion 
some people don't need to cleanse their skin, you know, twice a day or even once a day. I just do it a few times a week in the shower. So this is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. And this is a really, really good amount of this product. It is a huge bottle. I mean, it might not look that huge, but there is so much product in here. You don't need a lot at all. It's just like a gray cream that when you rub it together with water it kind of turns to a foam on your face and i really have been enjoying this cleanser so i would definitely definitely recommend it it does not make my skin like too dried out after i use it and um it's been really good to me i'll have this product i'll have the simple wipes and all of the other products that i use linked in the top of the description box for you guys because they are seriously what i have found that is incredible towards my skin i've been using all of these products that I'm going to show you guys for at least like a few months, some of them years. <laughs> so they are tested and true and great. Next thing I'm going to use is some witch hazel. I actually have my witch hazel that I love that I've talked to you guys about a bunch of times in a Lush bottle and I just put a label over it that said witch hazel because it is not the yummy mummy anymore. And the reason I have it in a smaller bottle is just for traveling to Boise. I put a lot of my stuff in tinier, tinier bottles that didn't need to be and it's huge. I mean, my witch hazel thing is like 16 ounces, really, really big, but it's the brand Humphreys. I get it on Amazon. It is a great deal. It lasts so, so long. It is a completely organic, natural witch hazel. It does not sting your face. It feels so good, so nice. And then I have reusable cotton rounds that I use and I wash and I dry, I put them in with the laundry and I reuse them. Shout out to my mom. My mom purchased these. Um, if I can find these, I will link them in the description box. I'm not exactly sure where my mom got them, but I will link them. It might be from Etsy or something. These are so easy to use and they're actually bigger and really, really soft. And you can kind of use like both sides of it before you wash it. So that is what I like to do. <laughs> with that being said, I'm talking so much throughout this, you guys, hold a crap. But um, I think you guys like my longer vlogs. I got some really, really good feedback on yesterday's vlog. I wanted to thank you guys so much. I've really been enjoying reading your comments and hearing you guys and just, you guys are just saying that you appreciate, you know, me talking about the cost of living in LA and just the cost of living here now and that it was helpful to you guys and all that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate that. I wasn't expecting such like positive feedback on the vlog yesterday. This is about how dirty my cotton round got. I don't know if you can see that. Not too dirty. So we are going to use the other side of the cotton round for my next product. And this is a product that, oh my gosh, I absolutely have been loving. This is from It Cosmetics and it's called Miracle Water Anti-Aging 3-in-1 Glow Tonic basically the three in one I'll read to you is skin brightening radiance booster plus anti-aging treatment essence plus skin softening micellar cleanser I actually didn't know that this had micellar water in it um, so that's interesting and uh, the packaging makes it look purple but it's actually just a it's just a clear water but I do love the packaging and again you get so much product in here like you guys I've actually been using this religiously since probably mm, at least I got this in September October and I have only used this much and I use this like every single day sometimes I use it twice a day so you get so much in here I like to use the other side of my cotton round and get a good amount of this on here and I love this product just using it before I do my moisturizer the witch hazel kind of ensures that all of my makeup is off because I don't use a cleanser so it just kind of makes sure that everything all the dirt and oil from the day and makeup is off and then after that I can use this product to really soak into my skin I mean I'm only 23 and I use anti-aging products um, which the next two of my products are also anti-aging but guys honestly you can never start too early why would you want to be wrinkly when you could be not wrinkly <laughs> and I'm um, just using stuff that's like good for your skin and good for just the turnover of new cells and all that kind of stuff um, I'm getting flashback to one of my fit on classes I had a um, like a skincare and wellness and all that kind of stuff class so after i use my miracle water love this shit um i am going to use a product by first aid beauty this is called the retinol serum and it is 
0.25% pure concentrate retinol you follow with your nightly moisturizer so I put this on after my toning and everything all my liquid products for my skin usually I just use about one pump of this and um, occasionally I use a little bit more than that but I haven't been super super consistent with it in the past but now I have started using it again and I like to use it on my forehead because that is where I have these um, these lines that were honestly just hereditary like my dad has them so I have like lines in my forehead which are fine I've <laughs> accepted them at this point I am gonna use actually a little bit more tonight I like to bring it down and not put it all over my face but I'm gonna put it like at least on my cheeks and then I'm gonna bring it a little bit down to my neck but I don't really use it on definitely don't use it too close to your eyes just kind of on the outer edges don't be putting this like under your eyes it's um not it doesn't sting or anything like that but it just says on the instructions to avoid contact with your eyes i'll bring it down to my neck because you know your neck is one of the first things to show signs of aging you guys you probably already knew that your neck and your hands um which lol of myself tan <laughs> line if you can see that it's not a bad line it's kind of more like an ombre because I don't really even if I use self tan my hands whenever I wash them it just washes off so self tan problems <laughs> problem areas seriously it's so hard to get your back to oh my god all right we're moving on to the finale of the skincare routine and one of my absolute favorite products um also by it cosmetics I've been using this religiously for I think a couple months I got I got this and this relatively at the same time. So the IT Cosmetics Miracle Water and then guess the name of this product. Are you ready? Secret Sauce. This moisturizer is called Secret Sauce. I don't know why, I think it's really funny because sometimes I like to refer to myself as many of us I'm sure do as the sauce boss um, because you know, I love sauces, dipping sauces, but this is the secret sauce for your skin and basically this is a clinically advanced miraculous anti-aging moisturizer this is what i think some of you guys um comment about my my glow because after you use this that glow that you guys are talking about you know what i mean like so i actually do sometimes use this um during during the day before i put on my makeup but i always use it at night as my last as my last step you guys and I, oh my god, it feels, rubbing into your skin, it feels like, just so soft. I was gonna say silk, but it just feels like a soft moisturizer. <laughs> and the struggles of having long nails, getting the product under your nails is real. But you gotta use that product, you can't waste it. <laughs> Obviously just wash your hands before you, um, before you do your, your skincare, but you guys, I, and I do dab this product actually because it's anti-aging. I kind of dab it gently under under my eyes and I just go in circles and I really deeply get this into all of the crevices. So I'm just going to finish off my face with this amazing feeling product. I like to bring it down my neck, get that anti-aging in there as well. All right, and after using that, you can kind of see the glow <laughs> it just feels so nice on your skin honestly the moisturizer is iconic so that's my updated skincare routine that was everything i used besides oh i didn't talk about my face masks this is probably my absolute favorite if i could recommend any mask it would be the glam glow super mud exfoliating treatment this is like the dark gray mask glam glow has a lot of masks masks a lot of masks but this one is probably my favorite because it's the best for clearing your skin when you do have those problems areas and you can use it as a spot treatment i used it on my zits the other night actually and that is where i'm gonna end off the vlog for tonight because that probably ended up being a long skincare routine i'm always itching my nose in the vlogs do you guys notice i'm sure you guys do probably notice and pick up on my body language more than i do in the vlogs but i'll be editing sometimes and i'm like i was just talking and itching my nose for like 10 seconds like and i didn't even think about it when i was doing it thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up if you liked the updated skincare routine and just it was a chill night today I didn't really vlog the day just kind of like the night i was helping sean move some stuff and then we just like chilled it was pretty much just me and him tonight which is really good the last night in his room i will miss the times i'll miss the times at the house but it's okay
new memories so i love you guys i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas um as always you can leave comments down below letting me know things that you want to see such as you guys said this skincare routine and here she is all right bye you guys do you like drugs?